Hello, hello, Tyler Bryden. Hope everything is going well. You may have seen, uh, if you've followed any of the videos that I've created, I've got a little bit of obsession. And that obsession is image generation, uh, DALI, stable diffusion, disco diffusion. And I'm not even getting enough time to play with some of these things, uh, but the speed that everything is moving along and then the human ingenuity that this is unleashing is just absolutely incredible. Uh, and there's something that I found really interesting, thankful uh, to find it, um, it, who was created by pharma psychotic which i like both of these words separately and in, and in, you know put together here uh doing some incredible stuff um uh with sort of ai generative art and one of those tools that he put together is basically called the clip interrogator and what's really fascinating and i guess this is the title of the video though is like reverse engineer ai generated images for text prompt ideas with the clip interrogator and um I mean, that's a pretty self-explanatory title, uh, but I think the uh, the consequences of this are pretty incredible. And so you see what he uh, has. This is a Google Collab uh, sort of notebook, so you can run this. I'm gonna include the URL in the video um, and on the website so you can access this right away. Uh, he shared um, this as a status. Um, basically, what it's trying to do is, is um, understand the keywords and the artist uh, to give you a, a suggestion for the prompt that would have created the image uh, that is being analyzed. So in this case, I took uh, a video. This is now I'm wondering if it had anything, you know, any uh, bu not bias, but uh, advantage of this because this is one of like the core DALI images. If I go back to DALI here, uh, it's a very popular one. So maybe it had had an example of that. But basically, I uploaded this video. It is or this image. You can see the link here and I'll include that just so you can have a context there. And then you can see that it works for stable diffusion, disco diffusion and JX, which I actually haven't explored too much, but I am uh, linking and uh, will be exploring at some point. And then you've got the image here analyzing it. And then now we've got a medium, the artist trending, the movement, and then the flavors. And then in the end here, we have uh, an actual um, prompt that you could then use to generate an image uh, with this. Now, what's really fascinating is if we go back to the original image, we can see a Van Gogh uh, style painting of an American football player. And got that, fantastic. So when we look and line these two up, football uniform, a painting of a man, an oil painting, now not Van Gogh, but an oil painting, uh, and then interesting about the Reddit contest winner. So obviously a qu high quality impressionism, impressionism, oil on canvas, art, acrylic art. So like overall, I was pretty astounded by the, um, you know, the prompt that was generated. Seems from, you know, some of them that not all the artists and everything are on here, but he's adding those artists to the system, which again is um, uh, amazing. When I check this out and you can see like there are some bizarre results that are, are coming up, but overall, as we sort of talked about prompt engineering, prompt design, which I've talked about in, in videos, and I just think this is a huge world that is opening up for many people. Uh, th this is gonna be really important. The idea that you can reverse engineer an image to figure out, you know, how can I get a similar, you know, feeling or look, that's an incredible uh, competitive advantage, I guess you could look say that way, but it's also, uh, and sorry, I think I hit the mic, also like, um, uh, like a time or a cost, a time and cost saving mechanism. And as people have sort of criticized DALI and some of the costs of it, um, and now obviously other systems are coming in, uh, into play, um, if you can reduce the amount of prompts you need and therefore the cost and then also the time just to engineer what you want, um, that's a huge, that's a huge win. And so uh, I think this is an incredible, th you know, piece uh, that uh, has been done and thank you to the, the the creator here. What I wanted to do is take a little bit more of an abstract one just because this was one that I created. Uh, I have a weird imaginations. If this, if you recognize that image, it's because you checked out my Dali song concept, which I uh, did nowhere near uh, what I thought it was in popularity, but it was still a lot of fun to make. It was really quite a shitty uh, 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 version. Uh, but you can see here, it's interrogating the image, and then we'll see what the response is uh, when we get back. Uh, and it, didn't, it actually was quite quick. It looks like there are some customizations uh, that are possible here. And then again, some uh, compatibilities um, with um, different systems. So for Stable Diffusion, it says just use uh, VITL14, which I feel like I should know what that means. Um, and then here we've got now a painting of a tree with green leaves, a computer rendering by Storm Thorgerson, who I don't know who that is, but let's uh, do a little, uh, let's do a little search. Shutterstock contest winner. So they're including this trending uh, piece. Uh, so I'm gonna pop that open. Environment, environmental art. 
then rendered in so Cinema 4D uh, Unreal Engine photo illustration. So um, the, the different models are actually giving you even different artists, some of them parallels, uh, a little bit of a different medium, and then you've got trending movement flavors, uh, which then compiles the entire prompt. And when I look then into Dali, into uh, my collection, I can then pop that up. A photo of a large tree made of peas in a clearing in the woods, digital art, funny, goofy. So, I mean, not really that great of a prompt, but I was really, overall, I was quite happy with the image that came back. So, not quite as precise as the first one that we saw, but some, you know, pieces that are going to get you on the way, on, on your way. And uh, obviously, there's the human capability for us to, you know, do this somewhat in our own ways. But... Um, I think, you know, to add a technical layer on this, and if this, you know, it looks like this is being improved, uh, improved, if this gets more and more valuable and powerful, uh, I, this, I believe, is a super uh, valuable thing, and I think it already is. So thank you again to ah, Pharma Psychotic. Uh, again, love that. Thank you for following. By the way, I follow you uh, as well, too. And then I've got a couple links uh, in here. Um, so some of the artists that was there, I've got the actual link to this. He also linked um, some uh, tools and resources for AI art. So there's a lot, you know, a lot here if you're obviously interested in this space, and it looks like an incredible comprehensive list. Um, here are a lot of interesting stuff going on right now i don't know where this is actual dedicated uh page that he shared uh, ko drop um uh so this got something there just to help promote him and you've got my original image link uh there and then obviously eh, youtube channel uh so there's the links for the video here uh this will be directly linked in the video and you can use this uh I'll make sure that you hit play play so the gp check gpu the setup um i guess you don't need to check the gpu but and then you drop the url in there and you're good to go so uh and then follow the instructions if you're using a different system but Overall, just wanted to take a look at that. I think it's super, super interesting and I uh, cannot wait to see sort of innovation uh, in obviously more image, you know, innovation in image generation continue, but then also things that surround it like this prompt design, prompt engineering, reverse engineering, uh, all this stuff is uh, lending to an incredible time in human history, one that I will continue to cover. Uh, if you like this stuff, you know, the video, like, the comment, the subscribe, hit those algorithms for me. I really do appreciate it. I love making this stuff and, you know, truly appreciate all the encouragement. I just crossed, I think, 500 hours on this and, you you know, about 15, almost 15,000 views. I started this not that long ago and I'm just so meaningful to be able to connect. And I'm actually learning a ton from your comments and people like, you know, linking me to things or saying, you know, I did a stable diffusion video and then they said, hey, it's actually coming out in three days because I was saying soon and I didn't know when it was coming out. Like all this stuff is a feedback loop I'm realizing for me to learn so that I can learn and then share that with you and we all learn together. And that's what I'm hoping to create here specifically around sort of generative AI, image generation. And then I've got a lot of things around technology and NLP and then if you know me psychedelics and all that good stuff but uh, thank you for checking out this video I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day this has been Tyler Bryden looking at how to reverse engineer AI generated images for text prompts ideas with the clip interrogator goodbye